driving an hour and a half or more to a doctor's appointment is a reality for a lot of people in rural communities. That's why healthcare centers are working to use new technologies and telehealth to help. Mr. Kevin, how are you feeling? This is a demonstration. Can you please raise your right leg up for me? Of how a patient in a small town who experienced a stroke can be seen by a neurologist hundreds of miles away in a matter of minutes. We uh, think this is, uh, you know, an uh, acute stroke going on right now. We can uh, get the same level of care as we do uh, in any uh, primary hospital. Dr. Morali Kolikonda is a neurologist with Baptist Health Lexington. So can we just start uh, getting some scans on him? He makes sure patients in rural areas receive the same quality of care, even without the same resources. How has teleneurology helped that gap? There has been a huge uh, uh, divide uh, between urban and rural care in terms of access for a neurologist. Touch this finger to your nose. For years here, uh, we had very limited access with neurology. Christopher Troxel works at Baptist Health in the small town of Corbin, almost 100 miles south of the closest major hospital. It's essential for a small community. Uh, again, many times folks have not seen a neurologist in years when really they needed to. The the use of teleneurology is growing, not only to help in situations like caring for a stroke patient, but for ongoing care or help with other neurological conditions from a distance. We're finding that 40 to 50 percent of patients can be cared for locally without even having to be transferred to a major tertiary center. Teleneurology isn't a solution to everything. It still doesn't replace a bedside exam. Can you please raise this leg up for me? And certain tests and procedures may require an in-person visit, like a CT scan. Okay, thank you. Can you please do this with this hand? Regardless, it helps for a specialty already stretched thin. We have a shortage of neurologists worldwide. Why do you think it might be difficult to get a neurologist here, you know, on staff? Uh, we've been <laughs> recruiting uh, on and off for a neurologist for, for years, but uh, it is very difficult to recruit to a, a small rural area. Looking at the blood results to see if there's a blockage. Neurology is just one example of how advancing tech can better health care everywhere. It has improved the outcomes. Even here in a rural area where folks are often resistant to change or resistant to technology at times, it's opened up another world for them. We may see more subspecialty telehealth services in the future. I'm Chloe Nordquist reporting. The race continues next.